Hey everyone, it's Jeff Way again with Tech Designs. And what I want to show you today is I want to show you how you can create an image gallery where when you hover over an image, a larger version of the image will show up. Now typically this is used with JavaScript, but there's also a way to do it with CSS that might be a little bit quicker for you. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We'll create a very simple example just to give you the idea. So here I have two fun pictures. Go ahead and add them in. Okay. And I'm going to put these in a list. do here is I'm going to add a span tag and put another image in. And typically what you'd want to do is you'd want to use the higher resolution photo for the larger, but we won't worry about that for this sake. And I'm going to do the same thing in here. Okay, as you can see, we have a list and then we have our image. And then before we close the list, we have another span tag where we put in another image. Okay? Pretty simple. Let's go ahead and run this in the browser, see how it looks. Oops. And what we're going to do is we're going to edit the CSS using the web developer tool toolbar. That way we can have some real time results. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to zero out the margins. And we don't want any bullets on the list. And I'm, I'm working in somewhat of a general way, but obviously you'd want to have a little more specificity so you're not affecting all of your unordered lists and all of your images. So you'd want to add some ID or class tags. So for the image, just bring it down to 100 pixels. So remember, two of these images are within the list, and the other two images are within a span tag. We don't want to see those in the span tag. So let's go unordered list, list, and ing. Bam. We're going to set the display to none because we don't want to see them right now. Aha! We only want to see, and this is actually quite similar to a CSS drop down menu. We only want to see them if you hover over one of these lists. So we'll do UL, LI, hover. Now, this only works in modern browsers. If you want to use it in IE6 and below, there is a hack that I can show you how to use. So, unordered list. List hover, we're going to take the span and display it in line. There we go. Okay, it's still not doing exactly wh what we want yet, though. So, first, let's add a few more features. Let's make the width of the image larger. Okay. And see how it's it's getting screwed up there? The way we fix this is we're going to set the position absolute. And in order to do that, we're going to have to relatively position the unordered list in order to have a context. Position relative, and let's set a width, say, I don't know, 500 pixels. Let's set a background color just so we know where we're working. And I'm going to set the margin to auto. Good. So we have that set to relative. Oops, okay, there's the problem. Okay, in order to list, list when you hover, we're going to take the span. And we're going to position that absolutely. And we'll put that top zero and right. Give it some coordinates. Okay, you see now we're posi positioning all images that are in a span tag 
absolutely in the top right corner. And if we go back and add that background color, you can see they're nested up right at the back right corner. Okay, and let's make this more like 400. Maybe not. Maybe a little less. Okay, so for the example, let's go add a couple more. I'm just using two photos, but you can use as many as you want. So normally people would use JavaScript to accomplish this, but you can see it's, it's not too difficult at all to use it using CSS. And then obviously you'd want to style and clean it up as best as you can. But this shows that many things are possible with CSS. So I hope this helped you, and if you have any more questions, please visit www.detachdesigns.com blog, and I'd be glad to help you or hear your thoughts. Thank you very much.